Okay, uh, my name is Randall Chongson, and I'd like to um, really, really encourage to have our interview today with my good friend, Anna Quisha Lindayag. She's one of the leading uh, CEOs of uh, FinTech or Financial Technology. But before that, may I ask you to, uh, no, no, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, there's subscribe button. There's a subscribe button downstairs, which you can click. All right, so Miss Anna, and you are one of the few, few, few Women CEOs. No, that's something that we celebrate. But we're not talking about that. Yeah. No? Talk about um, your company that's into blockchain technology. Yes. Now, for the interest of our listeners or viewers, what is blockchain? And everybody's been talking about it. No? Yeah. Uh, so thank you first for inviting me to be in your YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe uh, on this channel. You, you will learn a lot. So... Practically, um, the blockchain is a new technology, but uh, to simply put that mm -hmm. in, in everyone's much simpler yeah, okay. perspective. Simply, I'm not, I'm not a tech person, so oh. so explain ka, it to me. Yeah, okay. hindi ka tech person, you, you just want to envision, for example, ano ba yung blockchain? Mm -hmm. you just view it as a database. It's still a database. It's still a storage of data. But using a different technology where there is much more transparency, much more accountability, and um, there is much more secured. It, it runs in a secured environment. Why? Because it's immutable. Meaning, since it's it, spe specifically, we're talking about distributed ledger. Okay. Okay? The distributed ledger technology, or DLT, it runs or it has copies on different computers. So, whatever you store in one computer and in every computer, it'll be impossible to, uh, to hack. Ha update or hack it. Let, let me go back. Now you said it's more transparent. What makes it more transparent? Yeah, as I mentioned, because it's, it's distributed to many computers. Okay. Many eyes or many, many people, many users will have access to it. So, a certain transaction, for As against example, a localized database. Yeah, as against to centralized Centralized, sorry, centralized database. So your central database, your centralized or your own proprietary database, your company can access that. You and your company can access that. So you can do anything about it. Like if you want to pad your transactions or mm -hmm. edit whatever occurrence or event in the database, you can do that. You, you have the free will to do that. You have the access and to that's that. You cannot do that in a blockchain. In a blockchain, once it's out there specifically, when when it's also bound by smart contracts, wherein you set certain parameters or rule to fulfill an event, then once it is done, it is done. When, once it is written, okay. it is written. So you see, that was a more transparent. Then why is it more secured? Secured because um, it works in an environment where... Uh, the, the 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 data that has been authenticated remains to be at that state, and in terms of hacking, um, you can you mga fears of the people mm -hmm. na na hack yung ganito. Na wala or that. Wala. Oh, yeah. There are different uh, reasons why they happen. Mm -hmm. It all boils down to the security of other third-party okay. softwares or applications attached to the blockchain. But the blockchain itself, the, 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 those data, it, it's, it's tamper-proof. Okay. So we can talk about it in, 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 in your other yeah, questions yeah, about yeah. the hacking thing. Also in ICON. By the way, yeah. we're doing this because we're featuring Miss Anna in ICON. Ano? Yeah. One of the, no, I'm really happy because we're, we're more women speakers now. Yeah, yeah. Right? Women empowerment. Yeah, women empowerment. No, so everybody says this is something I hear. You know, the other things, applications, they question. But when they talk about blockchain, most people agree that it's good. Why is that so? Parang crypto or no, blockchain, okay, yan, okay. Yan. Mm. Let me say yeah. that. The, even us, we highlight the technology. Mm -hmm. We don't highlight the cryptocurrency that you know. And, and crypto is an application. No, the crypto is a digital oh, sorry, asset. asset. Okay. Yeah. So that, that is derived from that, that sit on top of the platform. Okay. The platform or the blockchain is the environment. All right. The digital asset where it is moved within the, the, the blockchain environment, 
you call it the cryptocurrency. You, you use it to, to trade, you yeah, use it okay. to, for medium of for, exchange. For whatever purpose that you can For trade. whatever purpose. All right. And then, can you cite, um, Siguro, are there people actually using blockchain now? Which one of the common um, applications of blockchain now? There are that's several, yeah. Um, that's also one of the challenges mm -hmm. right now, the, the adoption of real world application. Yes. Because in the in the recent past, yung like the, the emerging of uh, Bitcoin and, uh, and uh, multiple Ethereum currencies, and other, yeah. um, the, the the goal is to to a cashless transaction, okay. but the adoption rate is very very slow. It's very challenging because not everyone knows how to use do it. that. Yeah. yeah, how to use it and. And it's not something that, you know, it's a plug and play, okay, naka blockchain na kayo, that's it. There, there is some complexity in, so, into that. So you're saying that in the blockchain, it's still in the infancy stage? I could or is say. It develop ready, like where internet was 20 years ago? We are in the first, you know, first phase. Uh, first phase of that. We're, it, in some other countries, it's becoming more mainstream. And some con countries are more okay with the use of blockchain yes, and, and the others. More progressive. More progressive. I, I, I think... I was in Japan. Yes. They were accepting uh, in, yeah. the big, in the big stores. Actually, yes. they have, a, they have more discounts yes. <laughs> when you use yes, yes. crypto, no, particularly two or three cryptos yes. that uh, they're using. No? Exactly. So, I was wondering, even, they could even use it to buy noodles. And also, wow. They can accept, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's not because if it's, it's, not the, it's not a matter of whether it's okay or not okay to use it's a general fact that blockchain is the one of the best technology you know and but it, it's just a matter of really adopting the, that technology and sometimes because the lack of more in-depth knowledge on, on the technology some other um, proponents of the community they they capitalize on cryptocurrency more than more the than technology. The technology. Yes. It should be the other way around. It should be the other way around. Now, people are always saying, and I read this, that it's the way of the future. Mm -hmm. Why is it the way of the future? Because we are there's a huge clamor for transparency. Not mm -hmm. just not just in, in our you know daily community or in a daily application but also in governments in, in businesses and i would hear you say that no you're you want government to apply blockchain less yes. corruption why is that so as i've mentioned it's immutable it's yeah. it, oh. it, it, there's accountability it's that, easier that's, that's embedded in the technology that makes it uh possible so why not right um, you see that happening i mean Political maybe not will. in the Philippines, maybe in other countries. Probably in other countries where the political will and, you know, yeah. if they really embrace transparency and accountability. That's gonna happen. Dito, we don't know. We only can pray for that to happen. You can wait. <laughs> so, uh, moving forward. So, from that, the blockchain is the technology. The crypto is the, the digital, digital assets. assets. And then one more, you know, before we move to the next video. There is, seems to be a a barrage of ICOs or initial coin offerings. I'm from the equities, so IPO ako, no? Mm -hmm. So ICO is that version. So what? It's similar but not the same. Yeah. IPO is the, the public offering, offering for, for companies yeah. for securities. So ICOs could be the virtual currency or the cryptocurrency could have different uses mm -hmm. or kinds of cryptocurrencies. One would be the equity or security, okay. another is utility, other would be commodities. Okay. So if it's like commodity back, cryptocurrencies like backed by gold, by, backed by this one, so those are the types. But the utility would be backed by its actual usage. Okay. Actual usage could be memberships, could be like discounts or medium of exchange. Or like rewards or Rewards or, yeah. Yeah. Pay for, use for payments, that would be the utility. So the more used it is, the more value does it, does it does that happen? Uh, in terms of value, as mm -hmm. you've mentioned, how do we determine the value of a mm -hmm. cryptocurrency? Uh, well, the state answer is demand and supply. But yes. The, to isolate only on the utility type of cryptocurrency, the, the value of the utility, of course, is dependent on its demand. So mm -hmm. th 
the, people see a lot of value when they see a lot of use for your cryptocurrency. So if they could use it for this and that, and there's you know massive demand for, for owning that, and people will just buy and buy that. And of course, in the token economics, if if you have a limited supply, that's when the value goes up because of that limited supply. I've read some stuff that you you've been quoted. Just maybe for the interest of our um, of our viewers, is what would you be your top three, siguro tips for investing or buying into ICOs or even cryptos that are are already existing? What would it be? I think first and foremost, um, especially in the ICO yeah, context, especially. in the the, the, the company mm-hmm. that's doing the, the ICO, very important you should really, really do due diligence on the team. Because maraming nawawala, no? Yes. yes. Maraming gumagamit ng, ng highlighting the success of uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. They are riding on the success of Bitcoin and using it for scams like okay. doing Ponzi schemes, yeah. you know. MLM versions. The MLM version of that. Not all MLMs are yeah, bad. Yeah, MLM... But Crypto the, the, the is... MLM Crypto Ponzi slash... Yeah, yeah. The one question. Yeah. So... So make sure that the company is real, legit. Real, legit. The team that has, would, would... Company and team would be one, one to look part. at who they are also. Yeah. Right? The, the, the skill sets, you know, yeah. the, the, the type of uh, the contribution that they've done in the recent past in, in the market, in the industry. Are they industry experts in the team? Um, second would be the technology that mm-hmm. they're using. What is it for? Uh, Kailangan may use talaga. No? May use talaga. Hindi ka maglalagay dyan. Okay, tapos sasabi mo for speculation. Oh, tataas to kasi you bought at this sure, sense. Out, yeah. So, it shouldn't be like that. And people should not really invest based on speculation. That's a very no-no thing. You, you get into this... Um, cryptocurrency project or the blockchain project because there's this immediate need mm-hmm. or solution or problems that it will solve. It needs to solve a problem. It's yes. like any business. It yes. needs to solve a problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And your last tip? And the last would be, um, so I, I've mentioned company, the technology, which is mm-hmm. also the use. Oh, and your third tip, Anna? And the third tip would be the, the network and okay. the users, the partnerships. Because without the market, without the ecosystem that you're building, where yeah, where so, will you use? And that sustains the whole project. Yes, that sustains right? it. So Anna, thank you for this. Um, what can they expect from you when you present at Icon? Oh, Being one of the few women presenters, <laughs> and tech. Yeah. So probably we could do a little bit of blockchain 101 mm-hmm. to educate people. We want them to stay away from scams. So how do we do that. We empower them. We with education. With education, that's very very important. And then we can talk about the use case. Yeah, use yeah. case. So, we'll have a case. Yeah. Let's have a case uh, for them to see. Yes. All right. Thank you, Miss Anna Kuisha Lindayak. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.